Today I'm going to show you how I filmed the Feeding Frenzy Venus Flytrap Cinematic Blooming Time Lapse. That was probably one of the most complicated titles I've ever chosen. So what? This is one of my favorite shots. It somehow looks as if a very small drone is flying through the leaves of the Venus Flytrap. How's that possible? The answer is pretty simple. You need a slider and a very special macro lens. The lower probe lens, which is also called snorkel or sniper lens. And when you see it, you can probably guess why. This lens does only offer an aperture of f14, so this can lead to noise and grain. But there are two solutions. Solution number one, use extremely bright light. Or use a slider which is able to move very slowly. This allowed me to shoot 4K video with a shutter speed of only a tenth of a second without getting motion blur. The slider I used to shoot this video can be controlled by an app and delivered pretty solid results. Okay, what about the time lapse? I took images for weeks. I really wish that it would have been a little bit warm in the room I took the images so that the plant would grow a little bit faster. But hey, now I got 2 terabytes of images and a couple of seconds of good footage. The images were taken with my 90mm macro lens which really offers brilliant image quality. The images were taken at f11 and ISO 100 24 megapixel. This allowed me to crop in a lot and split the whole video into several full HD videos. The background appeared black because the distance between the plant and the light source was pretty short. All images were taken in the room which was completely dark. There was just one light source to prevent all kind of disturbing effects like flickering because of changing light conditions. Because the flower grew pretty high I had to adjust the position of the softbox a couple of times. Maybe it does not look very professional but the results are pretty cool. For this shot I had to change my setup a little bit. The first couple of weeks I filmed just from the side. But when the flower started opening up of course I needed to get some footage from the top. Because the background was pretty close to the flower after changing the position I had to add a black background here. I took one image every 90 seconds, so I had to exchange the SD cards a couple of times. To keep shooting for a couple of weeks I used a dummy battery, which was directly connected to the power supply. Have you any questions about how I film my macro timelapse? I really hope that I could give you some inspiration or ideas for your next video or photo project. What would you like to shoot in timelapse? Or what would you like to see next on my YouTube channel? Please leave a comment below. Have a good day and hopefully see you next week.